as the events unfolded. There was the third plane crash in Pentagon and um, actually the fourth one just crashed uh, very close to my university. Um, and then it just like, I mean, you start to realize things, but it's, I mean, you cannot really comprehend it. I wish that nobody lives through that kind of terrorism ever again. It was horrendous. My name is Kemal Basat. I studied in US from 98 to 2002 computer science in Penn State. Just on the day actually, I woke up in the morning and one of my roommates was in front of the TV watching the news and it's like something happened in New York. And uh, I was like trying to figure out what and he was like a plane might have hit the World Trade Center and this was just the first plane actually, they hit the first building. And then I sit down, basically everybody all of a sudden is concentrated on this event and all of a sudden while we were watching the second plane hit the second building. Um, and at that moment I remember realizing that it's actually something serious um, and not just happened an accident, not just an accident. Basically, the first few days, everybody was in shock. We didn't know what to do. We were only trying to communicate with friends and family, trying to comprehend the whole situation. We didn't have social media back then, but we had emails. We emailed each other, uh, both in the university as well as uh, through other universities and other, uh, other Cypriots to make sure that everything and everybody is okay. Uh, it was it was definitely a get together uh, for us. Uh, I mean, you're in a foreign land that just got you know attacked, but by, by foreign people uh, in an unprecedented way. It's uh, it's. I mean, now what? I mean, after 20 years, I'm thinking about it, and it's unbelievable. Still, just a month prior, I was in actually New York with uh, one Turkish Cypriot and one Greek Cypriot friend together. And we had the plan on one day, actually, on our last day to go on top of the World Trade Center. But we were late, so we, were, we just parted ways with my friends in New York, saying that, oh, we'll come back to World Trade Center later. We never thought that we would actually never get the chance again. 